Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another um, Pro Jute Test 2 video. Um, what was I doing last time? Last time I was trying to build up my third floor, and we needed wood, didn't we? So, um, okay, let's go down to the first floor and see if there's any donations. Oh, we got some coal. Oh, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much. I, I can't even grab it all. Hold on. I can't grab anything. What's going on here? Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Grab, grab. Wait, the grab's on the handle. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I forgot the background noise. Hold on. And I turned the sound way down. There we go. So now I should be able to do win amp. There we go. Hi there. Oh wait. Hi there. I didn't realize you were here. There we go. Some nice gentle music in the background. And let's try and pick up our donations. Somebody was so kind to drop off a whole bunch of donations for us. So how do I play LOL? <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> Grab an axe and chop. <clears throat> Why is it not letting me grab anything? Is my inventory full? Hold on. Where is my tab? No, inventory is not full at all. Am I too tall? Is that a problem? Is that a thing? Oh, there we go. I can't grab anything. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. Uh, can we combine these? Put these down here. There we go. What if we just did this. Now can we lift these out? There we go. Come on. What? Now if they're out here, can I grab them on the ground? Yeah, I can grab them when they're flat. I think it's having a hard time determining which one to grab. Oh, oh, there we go. When I don't have anything in my hand, it's okay. I don't want to have to pull each and every single one of these out one by one. Oh, that would be horrible. When it's down on the ground and it's by itself, no problem, boy. Oh, there we go. Now how about... Now... No. What if I switch? There. There's a take. But if I come over here, it doesn't... Hold on a sec. Huge shout out to Magnum Developers, who just reached 200... Come on. 200 subscribers. Congratulations, dude! <laughs> hey, by the way, you were messaging me during the video. <laughs> Okay, it just took it a second, but it finally recognized that there was a like a board in front of me that I could actually pick up. Code, hi shark boy. What if I, what if I like knock some of these out? Will that help? I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Dude, Turner, what happened, dude? <gasps> I don't know how to reset you. I'm stuck in your door code. I'm sorry, my door's got you. It's my, my secret anti-theft trap. <laughs> I can't pick any of this up. It's all glitched. 
Hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead. Drop these in. Drop this down here. There we go. I'm just going to start pulling this out. Hopefully. Hopefully one by one. I can get this all on the ground and then spread it out a little bit and maybe... It's like sticky for some reason. Must be all the wood sap. That's what it is. It's wood, wood sap is sticking together. Of course, that doesn't explain the, the stone. The stone was sitting on top of the wood, got sap on it. That's what it is. <clears throat> By the way, um, essential oils. I smelt one the other day. It was a candle essential oils kind of thing. And I know, Code, what were you doing with your mask off? I actually had my mask on, and once I got to like the candle section, I would like take my mask and smell them like that. And it was, uh, it was really good. I smelled one that was, uh, it was called birch, and that was it. It was just called birch. And it smelled like birch trees. Oh, it was so good. I can't remember if that was essential oil or if that was a candle. I really like wax melts and essential oils. They smell good. I don't like the fruity smelling ones like um, mango, orange passion, stuff like that. I don't, mm -mm. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a big fruity smelling kind of guy, but there's one called like leatherwood or something. And maybe it was leatherwood. Not sandalwood. I didn't like sandalwood. Sandalwood, or er, uh, sea wood and sand. That smelled pretty good too. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Cactus. <laughs> I'm trying to pick up my first donations. Hold on. Can I, there we go. Um, hold on. Isn't there a setting? If I put this down. This makes it a little bit easier. I don't know why it makes it easier though. Hey Defaulty, can can you make the distance on the grab a little bit bigger? Um, for us tall guys, we can't can't reach all the way down to the floor to to pick things up. Come on! Oh, there it was. Just hope and pray that it the E pops up so I can hit it. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. I can get that one. Oh, don't give, don't give me iron. I don't have a place to put it yet. V8 Turner's like, where you want banana? <laughs> right there's perfect, thank you. Hi, Shark Boy, who looks like Defaultio, oddly. <laughs> uh, is that Scheist? Oh, no, that's, uh, that's marble, I think. That's awesome. Hi, buddy. Code, look at the wood. I know. I know. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> I'm trying. I love it. Love it. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, why? <laughs> Thanks, I heard you needed some. I did. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. I just can't pick it up, that's all. Even got my graphics all the way down, just can't pick things up. Josh, help. I'm too tall, please. 
I need everybody to send a message to Josh and say, Josh, Code can't pick up the wood. He's too tall. I think that's the problem. Josh, if you're watching this, like this little section right here, this this is a problem, and I don't know why. But like every single time I try and go start picking up and cleaning up my base, I can't pick things off the ground. So then I go to like get close to it, and then I end up kicking it because I can't get the E to pop up. <clears throat> there we go. Hold still. Hold still and wait for the E. It should appear just like that. Then you can grab. But if it don't appear, just turn to the left. Or right, it should pop up again. Mm -hmm. This is not working. Oh, it's going a little bit faster. Is it patience? Is it patience that's causing it to to work? Oh, there we go. By the way, Logan, if you're watching, um, my family, we went up to go get some food from the Chinese place, and you weren't there. So. By the way, if you guys don't know who Logan is, uh, last live stream he gave, not last live stream, the stream before, he gave $50 during the live stream. It freaked me out. I was like, oh my gosh, hey. <clears throat> uh, Defaulty is not here, right? Hold on, let's see. Nope, Defaulty is not here at the moment. <clears throat> Hold on. There we go. So, um, I finally got everything picked up, and there were two bags down there, and both bags are full of, uh, pine wood. Look at that. So, we got two bags of pine as well. Oh, man. So, um, I don't know if it really matters that I've, I keep the same pattern. I kind of want to keep the same pattern. But at this point, it doesn't really matter to me. So, um, I'm not going to be able to grab those. So, I'm going to have to do this. Uh, wait, I have to build first, don't I? So, to get rid of some of the wood, let's go to uh, B to open book. Oh my gosh. Look at everyone's build. Everybody's been building up so much. By the way, if you've not bought Projute yet, it's a thousand Robux, and yes, I highly encourage you to go do so, because it's amazing. It's a great game. Alright, let's go. Um, hold on, why is that? Oh, that's just a blueprint. Oh. Hold on. Do I need just a blueprint? No, I need, I need my blueprint book. Um, here, let's, let's drop that one down there. Oops. Here, you go, you go. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> Q. There you go, you go down there. And then I'll bust out my handy dandy blues clues notepad. And we'll hit P to open book. Go to wood, hit E. We're going to start right there. Oops, right there. Build all the way across. Good. And all the way up. We can start building the wall by itself. Finished. There we go. Watch yourselves. Finished. And this one can go right here. All the way across, but only like what? Four up? Oh, wait. Is that gonna be right? Hold on. Does it need to be one shorter? Let's hit B. And up here. If 
to do a rotate. Hmm. Rotate, rotate, rotate. <clears throat> hmm. Why is that off by one, I wonder? Oh well. Oh well. I'm just gonna hit B on that one for now. Let's go back over and we will go ahead and fill in these. Because we can. We're here. Nicely done. And then I should be able to find some plain wood. I think I see some plain wood over there. That or it is oak, and I just don't know. Maybe, um, let's do this. No, 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 I want to do this one, because it's faster. But I've got to drop these, uh, these two bags off. I don't want to just leave them out in the open, so... Let's go to... And hit... Let's go over here in the corner. And that one there. There we go. Now I should be able to build... Just a little thing here. Let's hit... Uh, B... No, 2. B. Uh, out. Let's see here. Whoa. See, and this is why I'm putting things there. <laughs> Y'all trying to step on it and stuff. <laughs> One, three, three. Why can't you, wait, why can't you add what? Wait, did I do a stone block? Hold on, did I do a stone block? I thought I did a regular block. Maybe I do this down. What in the world? Can I not get to it? Oh well. It's a bug. It's a bug. Wait, where did it go? Ah, come back. Let's go, let's go put them back down in this little area, just for now. Because if you can't really, oh, oops, if you can't really grab onto them, then I mean, they should be safe. I mean, for the most part, they're safe. Come on. There we go. Push them into. Oh. Come on. Come, oh. Okay, we got double grabbies. There we go. Push them under there, and then they should be fine. There we go. Okay. Let's go find a tree. Code Island, work in progress, duh. Owned by Spy and Whack Lighthouse. Oh, I can't get in. Do you got it locked? It's locked, I think. I can't get in. Can I grab? Am I am I whitelisted to grab? Oh, sand. Two thousand. Nice. 
Only 56 per week. It's not a bad little price. Up and over. <gasps> There's a plain tree. That's what we're looking for. Wait, is that a plain tree as well? That doesn't look like a plain tree. Uh, and actually, that doesn't look like a plain tree either. It looks like an oak tree. Oh, gosh. Is it oak? I don't want it to be oak. It's okay if it's oak, but... Oh, it's oak. Dang it. I'm gonna have to, like, chop down this whole thing and turn it into oak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I forgot to empty out my bags, didn't I? Dang it. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. <clears throat> we had Chinese food tonight, and it was really good. Uh-oh. <sighs> I've been uh, working on some projects at work. Mostly dealing with like automation and bots and programs, stuff like that. I'm really happy that I've got a background in automation. <laughs> and people are like, what do you mean, Cub? I used to make bots for like video games. So walking through the process of like where to click, what to look for, stuff like that. It just comes naturally to me for some reason. So I wanted to tell you guys that I don't do bot programs anymore as far as like RuneScape and stuff like that or uh, doing the videos. I don't do those. Um, I might go back to them in the future, but if you're still staying here after all this time waiting for me to make another bot video, I just haven't done it. And I don't know that I'm going to do it again, but I want to give you guys a heads up. I still program and I still do uh, automations at work, but I mean, I don't know if I can use UiPath to program a, a bot for a video game. Don't know if that's a thing. Come on. The lag is phenomenal, just saying. Should we, uh, should we go to the volcano and see if the volcano wood is available? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Too close to a property stake, my bad. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Not too painful. <clears throat> like I said, if you haven't bought the game yet, please feel free, like, consider purchasing and going into the game. Um, a lot of people are like, Code, tell Defaultio to lower it. No, I won't. In fact, uh, a lot of people will ask me to pivot. Um, basically, they tell me, hey, message Defaultio for this. That's called pivoting. You're not going to use my friendship with Defaultio to try and get something that you want, no matter what it is. You have the ability to message him yourself, and it's up to him whether he wants to respond or not to you. 99 times out of 100, he won't respond. All right, he's very busy, he's very introvert, and he's just, he's not going to respond. And by that mention, he doesn't have to. I think a lot of people feel entitled that they deserve a response, that they're entitled to a response. No, you're not. If he doesn't want to say anything, he does not have to say anything. <sighs> I know that sounds mean, but... That's only because you're so used to me being so nice and answering every single question that everyone ever sends to me. Speaking of which, um, I was watching a live stream yesterday. I won't mention who or anything, but um, they actually went over to my channel on the live stream and they're like, oh, he responds to everyone's comments, huh? He responds to everyone's, he replies to everyone he can. I do. I try my best to respond to as many people as possible, and I I warn you that like you get up to this level and it is impossible to catch every comment. Now, I kept up with it for a very long time, 
I kept up with every single comment, every single video, every single day. And it got to the point where I was spending three hours in nothing but replies. Three hours. So I limit myself to about an hour and I just respond as fast as possible to as many as I can. If I get an hour. Sometimes I don't get that hour, but I will try. Just so you know. <clears throat> A lot of people are like, well, you only got like 27 comments on this video. That's 27 comments this video. I have over 2,000 videos and they all get comments every single day. It's a, it's a lot of comments to go through, just saying. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people are like, Code, that video was six years old. How did you, how, why, why are you responding to it? Because the comments in my comment section on Studio, they come in in the order that they appear. So like the newest comment is on top. Doesn't matter what video it's on, doesn't matter what day it was, when it was, that video is on top. Or that, that comment is on top. And it tells me which video it came from, who it was, what the comment was. I, I like that aspect about the new, um, the new studio. Because there's a lot of things I don't like about the new studio. And I've tried to voice my concerns before, but they don't listen to me. Who am I? I'm not an influencer. I'm just a widow guy. <clears throat> By the way, if you happen to have ADHD or if you happen to have um, impulsivity, um, sensory disorder, autism, Asperger's, anything like that. Don't let people tell you that that's going to be your downfall, that that's your, you have to be in a special way to do certain things. It's not true. Um, <clears throat> I take my medication not for myself. I take my medication for my boss for the people I work with, for my my wife, for my kids. So I can remember things. So I can calm down. Um, not to increase my creativity or to act normal. That's not, that's not why I take my medication. And I don't want you guys to think that you have to take medication to be normal. You are the way that you are, and it's perfect. It's exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now, with that being said, it should be your choice on whether or not you take medication. Just like we asked Oliver if he was okay with going on medication, and we wanted him to decide. Yes, he wanted the medication. And it helped. He concentrates. He can pay attention longer. I know the feeling. My wife was against it for a very long time. And I'm not saying it's okay for like every single day to take all the time whenever you have an excuse for something. No, that's not the point. It's just nice to be able to sit through an entire movie and not get antsy sometimes. It's nice to be able to sit down and do my work. Sometimes the like, I don't take it and it's so good for the creativity part because I can imagine and fly and, and just do all kinds of crazy things inside my head that come out to be really great ideas once I get them on paper. But it's the concentration of completing those tasks and, and continuing afterwards that I have a problem with. I am full. That's why I can't pick anything up. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and drop the stones. 
that way we can pick up eight more. And that should fill us up. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. We're at 30 minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> Well, at least we got plenty of wood that time, right? So, I mean, that's a that's a good thing. Um, by the way, both of my kids now have RTX 2060 um, Ultra KO graphics cards. After almost a month of trying to figure out the power supply and trying to figure out the adapter there's a there's a 24 pin to 14 pin adapter that you have to buy from like either Walmart or Lenovo because the uh, Lenovo motherboard, the ATX motherboard, takes a 14 pin power adapter and the 600 watt EVGA power supplies that I bought only come with a 20 pin output. Long story short, finally got everything set up and their games look amazing. I mean, they are so happy. And like they had complained about the glitchiness of the games and like the slowness and everything else. These two computers are Zion Think Center uh, TS 140s. They're Think Centers. They're servers. Okay, and they've got Zion processors, Xeon processors inside them. They're like the equivalent of like i nines um, back five years ago. Yeah, they're they're really good processors. Putting in the graphics card just oh my goodness. It increased their game levels like they're ready. So I really like being able to do that for them. And the wife, she was worried about the money and everything else, like, oh gosh, you're spending a lot of money on this. The graphics cards themselves were only about three hundred and nine dollars, which was like the cheapest that I could find but a really good graphics card. So, if you're looking for something that's good, just check your compatibilities, check your power levels for your PSUs, your power power supply units. Make sure that you can upgrade and go for it. If you already have a graphics card, you probably don't need a new one. Um, RTX is like super good. Um, GTX 1060 is what I'm running inside this one. It's the six gigabyte, so. But I'm done nerding out for now. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Proju with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. I love you guys very much. Have a great night or day. I will talk to you soon.